Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Kavya Sama Love is War season 3 episode number 2 reaction. All right, the previous episode was the first episode of season 3. It started with an amazing blast and you know, the first thing that we saw was an Ishigami centric uh, section where basically Ishigami tries to save Ino from the embarrassment that is like you know, her listening to some um questionable stuff. <laughs> You, and his her uh, Jack was kind of uh, not attached properly. It was out in the open. And Ishigami being the good boy, he was like, you know what? Like you know, he, I I was able to hear that. Uh, it doesn't matter. I hope that the others don't uh, listen to this. And you know, Ino gets embarrassed. So he like, sacrifices himself like a very good boy. Unfortunately, Ino doesn't realize that. And everything comes out <laughs> in front of everyone. <laughs> And that was an awkward moment uh, the second part where Kaguya tries you know getting is getting accustomed to uh, social media she doesn't know that there's like a thing called like you know where you were able to understand that if you read the message or not and he, he she was just kept it open uh, Shirana was very close to actually figuring it out that ah Kaguya likes me but unfortunately because Hayasaka is such a good um you know attendant she was able to like you know use that of like you know that whole situation and uh, was able to save Kaguya from almost like you know letting her feelings out and uh, kind of like you know Hayasaka just basically just said that oh it's out on the computers that's why it was not Kaguya but someone else who saw your messages so that was <laughs> that was that and the final portion was an arm wrestling tournament where um all the like you know like student council members does arm wrestling and uh, like you know the finalists were obviously kaguya and shirogane um unfortunately kaguya was very like you know like you know like was kind of um, what can i say like i'm very enjoying the very the situation shirogane as well unfortunately um sweat came in and you know like kaguya being embarrassed that shirogane is going to realized that she can't be sweating she just defeated her and him in one second and yeah you know um <laughs> that was that it was a very amazing start and i'm looking forward to more of these like you know people doing weird stuff and us laughing at them so let's get started this is episode number two of kaguya sama love is war season three so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown Three, two, one, go. Okay, the opening, here we go. <laughs> I love the way <laughs> how everything's just moving. Okay. Oh my god. I didn't realize, I didn't probably see it in the previous episode, but. Okay. <laughs> I love the way they, they did the camera work, you know, it's kind of interesting. Oh boy, I love, like, you know, I, I think his name is Mas like Masa Masayuki Suzuki, yeah. Oh boy, his songs are just so good. <laughs> okay. Oh. Miyuki Shiro. That's, okay, okay, understandable. <laughs> well, oh, oh, yeah, true, true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> All right, calm down. I hope she's not listening. Well, lately. <laughs> mm. There you go, nice. <laughs> oh, okay. What? Yeah. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> okay, she's also doing her part, you can see. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. True. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my god, is, is this... Oh no. Okay, maybe the... <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Ugh. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so it's basically clearing the mission. Okay. Yes, that's how it works in RPGs, you know. <laughs> mission one. Complement each other. Oh. That's a long title. Okay. Uh, oh, she, he, oh no, oh no, it's his idea, it's a good one, you know, yeah. <laughs> okay, I wonder what, okay. Hmm. There you go. <laughs> okay. Yes. I hope she's able to. She easily gets embarrassed, so I really hope she is able to. Ah, oh my God! I knew it. I knew. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. All right, let's see. Oh my god, this is too high level. Okay, this is too high level, I think. Stop. Y yeah, this is a bit too much, I think. <laughs> what the hell is happening? Okay, let's... Oh! <laughs> I 
Speedy Joe. Oh my god. <laughs> Eating the fork. Okay, yo, what are these? No, no, no. What is this? What's happening here? Wait, did, she, did she come up with an idea? <laughs> Difficult teen behavior. There you go, it's working. It's working. A round of applause, it's working. <laughs> Their voice. It's a bit too effective. Ten years. <gasps> yes. Whoa, whoa, what's happening? Who's this? His friends? Okay. Oh, is this like a... Oh... Networking. Hmm. Karapara. What? Yo, I feel like this is like a mixer or something. Is this a mixer? There you go. Censored. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I also thought it's probably a, a group date or a mixer. Chaperone. Yeah, <laughs> oh, well, Shirogana would be there, so. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, put on a disguise. Oh no, she's going to send her. Oh my god, here we go, networking. Networking. What a... <laughs> yeah, he did, networking. Oh my god, that's Hayasaka. <laughs> Okay, Shirogana can't recognize her, I guess. Asaka. Oh! oh. Asaka. Oh my god. Oh wow, he just bailed out. <laughs> She's having fun with this completely. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> um
Oh wow, okay. Oh no. Oh no, is this like a one of those songs, the like heartbreak songs or something? Oh my god. <laughs> the lyrics. Oh my god, the lyrics. My god, the song is really good. What is this? <laughs> oh. <laughs> she don't got this like <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> then why are you here? Yeah? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Understandable. She's really meaning these, yeah. Reminds him of Kaguya? Oh, never mind. Hmm. Well, she kind of still is, but while talking about the. Hmm. What? Wow. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, that's uh <laughs> oh. Oh, great. Okay. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Well. Oh. <coughs> <laughs> well, yeah, she is. So is he. My God, look at her. Oh, is she going to? Put Kavya in it? Okay, no, never mind. Oh! I'm like, what's... Uh, I doubt it's gonna work. Oh boy. Uh. Okay. Drama among the minor characters. Okay, you know what? I I feel like this is Hayasaka's way of actually making 
Kaguya more proactive. <coughs> I think that's what she's trying to do here. Yep, there you go. She's trying to make Kaguya more proactive. Like, like it'll probably be them singing or something, like, you know? Oh, <laughs> news, what? <laughs> They're probably just singing. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> no, just say that you bumped in. I doubt that's going to happen. <laughs> okay, maybe. <laughs> oh no, this is on camera. She called Chica for this? Oh my god, she's going to bring her here. Then go in. Oh, she's going to make her go in. Oh my god. It's going to take her time to come. And they're probably going to sing or something. <laughs> they're going to sing. Oh my god. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Is, is it the lyrics? Is it the lyrics? It's probably the lyrics that's big here. <laughs> oh no, move! Yep. Yeah, it's the lyrics, you know. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? She's probably dehydrated, you know, for after singing so much. <laughs> yeah, and singing. The lyrics. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> she rapped. Okay. Yeah, what, what else do you think? Oh my god, Chica's here. Oh no. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, she knows. Yeah, Chica knows. Chica knows. Chica knows. Move. No one's there. <laughs> oh no. Wanted to make you more proactive. Yeah, and that as well. <coughs> mm. Well. Hmm. Ryan, you know what? Deep down, I feel like she probably wanted to do that. <laughs> I don't know. I still feel like he, she, she did that to make her more proactive. Is he singing alone? Yeah. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
So I'm not feeling well, I'll be leaving, not because of your rapping. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay, I think this. Yep, the ending. Oh, wow. Okay. Again, an airplane themed ending song. Planet and Kabe is here. Oh, you are here. Okay. <laughs> Wow, okay. Oh, I would love to. <laughs> you know what? I feel like I. S okay. Wow, this ending is interesting. What? <laughs> Wow, this is a really <laughs> Chica very bold cat. Oh my god, this ending is amazing. What is this? Oh, oh wow, that was a good one. This was a good episode. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right, this is the second episode of season three. And uh, we start with Ino Miko and Ishigami. <laughs> now, <clears throat> we start with um, Shirogane and Ishigami talking about Miko and how Shirogane says that, oh, like, you know, like, um, I feel like both of you are not, you know, like, don't get along well. So what's up with that? And Shirogane talks, obviously, like, you know, like, we've seen Shiro, uh, not Shirogane, sorry, Ishigami in the previous episode like you know not only in the previous episode but before as well he always does these type of small little things and the previous episode it was a, like you know he did something which was uh, a very big thing where he sacrificed himself you know for to stop uh, letting her get embarrassed unfortunately it didn't work by the way uh, in the end so <clears throat> still he tried uh, but unfortunately uh, miko doesn't realize that and he is kind of mad he's like ah i do so many things for her and she just all the time that i go there she just yaps 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 about some normal trivial stuff and uh, yeah she doesn't appreciate me enough uh, like you know i'm doing so many things for her and uh, <laughs> like ishigami is, Ishigam is just ranting while on the other side um uh, ino and the other girl uh, I, f I don't remember her name the glasses girl you know what she kind of looks like kaguya a lot you know the glasses girl like especially the hairstyle and everything <laughs> but anyways um okay so <clears throat> miko says that uh oh like she says the same thing she's like uh like yeah i'm, I'm getting well with everyone you know like at first there was little bits and pieces of misunderstanding uh but they're good people except ishigami and <laughs> She starts ranting about how she does stuff about Shigami. Now, here's the thing. I don't think they mentioned this before, did they? Like, you know, the different things that act she actually did for Ishigami. For example, she says that... <coughs> okay, the first one that she says is endlessly apologizing whenever the disciplinary committee president gets miffed at Ishigami, which I can understand. Obviously, she's in the disciplinary committee. And you know, like Ishigami is in student council, so obviously, like you know, the the president or the uh, when he, he comes and asks Miko, like, what's up with uh, the student council's Ishigami? Why does he does think like that? Why is he breaking rules? This and that. I think it's probably like you know, falls on Miko to apologize and everything. Okay, I can understand that. And uh, the next one, toning down Ishigami's infractions in the disciplinary record so they can be more benign okay which i was really not expecting she actually is bending the rules for him which 
which is kind of which is something that I actually did not expect her doing because she's usually so much justice justice that you know, I didn't think she would do that but that's really nice you know okay the next one while he was this one as well this one I don't know if they actually mentioned this before or did I just forget but is this like a new information where she says that while he was suspended I met with his teachers repeatedly to work out a deal did they mention this before i don't think so if they did i probably forgot so like okay i was not expecting this one as well like so basically <clears throat> that time when we thought that oh like no one was beside ishigami you know that little flashback in season two when we saw shirogane coming and helping out ishigami um oh you know what i feel like they did tell us or, or i can't remember properly i think they did I don't remember that scene, but uh, like you know, Sh Shiogana's scene was so phenomenal. I love that scene. That I, if, even if they mentioned Miko helping, like you know, doing these kind of things, helping out, uh, trying to get the them, like you know, talking with the teachers and stuff, I probably forgot. Uh, but yeah, like Shiogana's scene was amazing, where he brings Ishigami up, you know, like goes to his place and everything. So uh, at that moment, when we thought like no one was actually on his side. We could see that Miko was like you know like actually trying to help him out in in the background you know uh, while Shirogane was the one who went ahead and like, you know pulled him up she was the person who did everything in the background so okay I I don't know if they told us this in season two uh, if they told us I probably forgot but there you go I know now I like that she did these type of like you know like she tried to help him out. <clears throat> And that's why she's like, yeah, like I did so many things and she he just all the time doesn't listen to me always like, you know, just. <laughs> yeah, like just just talks to her like, you know, in a, in a very condescending way. And she's like, yeah, I don't like that. You know, <clears throat> just who the hell does he think he is? I do so many things for her, him. <laughs> and OK, now the other girl says that. So why don't you tell him? And she's like, oh, justice seeks no, like, you know, like, you know, no, recom like, you know, what do you call it? Justice seeks no return. Yeah, return. And now here's one thing that I saw. She brings up a flower press and she says, uh, yes, I remember there was a time when I'd hit rock bo bottom, ostracized by everyone around me. And she brings out that thing, that flower press. What did she call it? Stella, I think. Stella, like person. Okay, I don't know. Is is this something that um, you know what? It wouldn't surprise me if this uh, like this flower press was actually left by Ishigan. Like it wouldn't surprise me because you know that's how this whole thing is going. You know they don't like each other, but it turns out that they were actually helping each other out from the beginning and nobody knew it like you know it'll be it'll be something like that then i guess but we'll see okay now they kind of like you know meet ishigami and like you know uh Ido comes face to face <laughs> and shirogan and the other girl the glasses girl they decide to make them get along properly and here we go they're like you know they're like all right we'll give you some missions to complete you know, you're going to complete those missions together you'll become better friends just like how it happens in video games and uh, there will be a lot of like you know missions one by one mission one mission two like this so the first mission is complement each other and uh, oh boy i knew this was going to happen uh i like even though ishigami would be able to somehow i guess like you know compliment her i knew you know would probably won't be able to do that because you know she's kind of embarrassed easily and even if she can find out ways to compliment him she, she probably won't do it because she's embarrassed but at first they were both of them were kind of fussing about it they're like oh it's just, this is like a very bad plan who made this and it's like <laughs> and shirogan is like oh i i thought it's about it for so much and this is this is what you think about this i'm sad you know <laughs> So they were like, all right, you know what, let's try this. Um, she, Ishigami starts, Ishigami is like, oh, like you are, you know, like a good student, a diligent student. Um, you are a kind person, an honest person. 
and uh, okay now it comes for Miko's turn and Miko's like wait I really can't find anything <laughs> I really can't find anything to compliment you <laughs> obviously Ishigami gets pissed and the, the relationship gets worse so all right mission one didn't work so second mission I don't know what the hell Shirogane was thinking when he was making these missions the first one was okay I don't know what the hell, where his mind went when he when he started writing the second mission onwards. The second mission was ear, I think ear cleaning was yeah. Like I'm like what? I'm like what? Okay, like obviously I know like this is something like you know like in, in a lot of animes this whole ear cleaning thing comes up, and that's only done by people who are either couple or very close to each other and Shirovane actually wrote that as a mission to these two who are fighting with each other all the time like I don't know what I expected but obviously no one was ready for it and uh, Miko's like no I'm not going to put my head on your thighs and neither I'm going to let you put your head on my thighs so what do they do obviously they make a weird position where you know he's on the sofa and Ishigami is just underneath with it torch trying to <laughs> oh god and then okay mission three what feed each other again another very high hurdled uh, mission um yeah shirogane is not good at this you know like i feel like like you know <laughs> giving these two these type of missions are impossible um miko just ends up eating the fork and yeah it, it goes up in a complete mess mission four Princess Carrie, again, what the hell, Shirogane? <laughs> Why? These are some very high level missions. They won't be able to complete it. It's like you're giving like a beginner adventure an S rank mission. What? No, this is not how it works. <laughs> and the way they did that, like they like, you know, like he had a rope in his hand and was hanging. <laughs> The fifth mission was the Pocky eating mission. Yeah, Shirogan is not good at this at all. And they just end up biting the whole thing off. And uh, yeah. Oh my god. So everything fails. And their relationship got worse. They're just like, you know, glaring at each other and everything. <clears throat> now, <laughs> the other girl, um, the glasses girl, she's like, you know what? Um, I feel like like this pattern is kind of reminding me of something. It's reminding me of that thing that where like the the friendlier you are, you know, and the better you like, and the, the more you kind of fight with each other. That's it's reminded me of that. You, you two are perfect for each other, and that's when they're like, all right, like how is this possible? They start talking like a robot, <laughs> and starts like you know, com like you know, telling each other that yeah. Like, I, I, I like you, and that's how the whole thing ends. Um, and, uh, yeah, she wins. Uh, what's her name? You know what? Let me check. Uh, Osaragi. That's her name. Okay. And Osaragi wins by the end of it. Because, yeah, they're good friends now, you know? Even though they, even though they are, like, talking like robots, it still counts, I guess. <laughs> All right, the next one is uh, the networking one, where... <clears throat> Shirogane gets invited uh, by his friends to do some networking, uh, you know, in a place where they're going to just hang out. And uh, Hayasaka uh, hears that, and Kaguya also hears that, and Hayasaka's like, you know, shouldn't you go there? And at first I was also thinking, okay, yeah, networking, they're probably going to meet people and just, you know, just talk and everything. Then when Hasaka was saying that, why shouldn't you go there, I realized that, oh, maybe this is not a red networking, but it's just a mixer. And there you go, that's what it ends up to be. Hayasaka says that, yeah, this is a group date. And you should probably go there. <laughs> Kage is very concerned. Kage is like, what should I do? Like, you know, like, I cannot go there on my own. Uh, like, there will be so many people there. Like, you know, they, like, you know I'll be um, comfortable. Uh, if someone sees me, like, you know, my whole thing is gone. My, you know, like, his family is pretty, you know, like, uh, particular about these type of things. So, at first I thought she was going to put on a disguise or something. But turns out she actually <laughs> made Hayasaka go there. <laughs> Which kind of makes sense. Okay. Now... <clears throat> okay, so Hayasaka goes there as... What was her name? Uh, the her fake name? Hataka. There you go. 
which kind of is similar to Hayasaka, isn't it? Hataka and Hayasaka. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> obviously Shirogane, Shirogane knows her, and um, you know, like she acts like the heartbroken, like you know, uh, lady, and <laughs> the person who was with, who was with Shirogane, he's like, oh damn, like you know, like this is some complicated stuff. I don't want to get in this, like. It just leaves Shirogane there, <laughs> just bails out of there. <laughs> and yeah, Hasaka and um, Shirogane starts talking. Now, oh my god, the way Hayasaka <laughs> manipulates him. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm, I'm so sad, you know, after that day. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, like, you know I'm, I'm heartbroken and everything. It's so difficult for you, like, you know, me to be here in front of you. And Shirogane was like, all right, then I'll go. And then she's like, Oh, it will be even more difficult if I see you like talking with others. So, like, you know, my heart will be even more broken. And then, like, in you know, a song comes up, she starts singing like a, <laughs> like, you know, heart broken song or something. Oh my god, and that song was really good, I have to say. Like, you know, like, and ironically, it was a really good song. I, I really liked it. Uh, <laughs> and she sung it so well. <laughs> and Shirogane is like, oh my god, I cannot. I cannot <laughs> handle this. <clears throat> now, after that, <clears throat> he's like, wait, so then why are you here? And she talks about her sister, little sister, obviously it's Kavya, and Kavya has been hearing all of that from the, you know, the thing, the walkie-talkie or whatever. And uh, she starts grumbling about Kavya and says like, oh, like she always like, you know, selfish, this, that, always like a dust thing and doesn't even care about the other person's feeling. All of that which obviously that was like her inner feelings she was kind of grumbling about the whole situation kamiya was also hearing that and <laughs> and shirogana here says like and after noticing her talk like this he says like oh you like you know it's better if you don't put an act because i feel like that's more natural for you and it, 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 like, you know, it's a lot better than you putting on an act complete whole act now <clears throat> okay so like this this whole part was very interesting because you know what like you know Hayasaka actually kind of looks at him and she's like oh so you want me to act myself and then she talks about how unless and until you act in a certain way you know in this society there's probably no place for you and uh, you know like you know and she, she even says like even babies know like you, you should put an act otherwise like you know like, uh, like other people won't accept you so you know, like, here we go, you have to envelop and hide your weakness and ugliness inside that act or you won't be loved. And then she also talks, like, and tells Shirogane that, so, like, you know, like, you, you told me not to put on an act, so then why are you also putting an act on? And, like, you know, can you, can you, like, you know, show the real yourself then? Which, like, you know, which is, like, the whole theme of this show in itself, you know, like, Shirogane and Kage are hiding their real selves, hiding their real feelings. So she's true, you know, like, like she, she basically, uh, like, you know, said the correct thing here and, you know, just um, the whole point that uh, Hayasaka made here was 100% true. And Shirogane also realized that. Shirogane was like, yeah, you're right. And then <clears throat> Shirogane is like, all right, then um, uh, Hayasaka is like, yeah, you, you, you should go, like, you know, that the person who you really like, if she realizes she'll... <clears throat> probably be sad and Shirogane's like yeah you're right and he goes away and then this random dude comes in tries to like you know just chat up her and she, obviously seeing that she's uncomfortable Shirogane takes Hayasaka's hand and gets her out of there and uh, now here's the thing you know um Hayasaka like you know talks in a walkie talkie says tells to Kaguya that you know what like I'm going to get serious here now like you know there was like that whole challenge before you remember where you said uh, like if i'm able to seduce him or not I, i'll really do that now and uh, now here's the whole thing where it starts now i said uh, that it's probably her way of trying to make kaguya more proactive which i feel like is true in a way you know she like there was probably a small part of her which probably did that to make kaguya more proactive which she did you know she did become proactive she came down rushing and tried to get him get them um that was one part of it 
another part of it as she says later on that it was the ugliness inside of me you know that probably wanted to hurt you seeing that you have been so happy up like you know all this time which i also think that was also another small part of that you know it was like a mixture i feel like like you know like that whole scene when shogun talks about the true self you know and uh, like you know the way she looks at him i feel like that probably actually hit hard within her and uh, she herself probably wants to be her real self unfortunately she is not able to do that so you know like she like you know she 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 probably wanted just wanted to mess with them after that you know because as like you know a little you know like to make kaguya a little bit more what do you call it uh afraid frustrated or like you know proactive and while at the same time messing with her because obviously she definitely wasn't going to do anything she was just going to sing with him like we all knew that from the beginning she just wanted to make kaguya a little bit more you know like panic about the whole situation and uh, <clears throat> so and as she said like you know there was probably a small part of her which was as she said like you know a small ugly part of her which was uh mad at the fact that kaguya is having so much fun you know recently she just wanted to mess with her um which i think it was probably that you know like shirogan and um, hayasaka and kaguya both of them kind of hide their own feelings but seeing kaguya being able to express her feelings recently you know like like whenever he, she talks about shirogan she expresses her true feelings seeing her being her real self and hayasaka being unable to express her real self probably made her jealous of that situation because as i said hayasaka herself probably wants to express her real self but she cannot do that you know as she said like you know like she she doesn't want to do that she's afraid that other people are going to hate you hate her for that or something like that so seeing kaguya like you know who was at the same place where she was standing up until now being able to express herself so properly made her jealous about that whole situation and realizing that it was because of shirogane you know she wanted to mess with kaguya by you know messing with shirogane i think that was this whole situation in my opinion and she obviously had no plan on doing anything else she just wanted to make her panic and like you know probably sing some songs with shirogane unfortunately she did not know shirogane sucks at singing <laughs> oh god and obviously like you know like it worked pretty well kaguya was panicked kaguya just came down tried to see like you know where they are and like you know the the place the the, the room where the, the ghosts were hanging she was like what should i do like should i get in you know i should get in but if i get in like in the shirogane would realize that it's me and i have been stalking him and uh, like you know she tries to think of so much things and uh, she's then you know what let's call chika call chika and she's just like all right let me wait let wait let chika come in and then i'm going to let chika go in there and barge in the whole thing now <clears throat> I don't know what she thought like you know if Chika went in and Chika would have definitely said that oh Kaguya called me here and the whole thing would have come out so I don't know what the hell she was thinking it would have failed either way but still you know before Chika comes in like the whole <laughs> in a window you know like oh like it's <laughs> so big and everything you know the way they were kind of expressing the whole situation i knew it was something like that you know, they were probably talking about the i thought it was they were talking about the lyrics or something i forgot for a moment that shirogana sucks at singing um so <laughs> i thought they were talking about the lyrics or something you know and uh, it turns out it was something like along those lines she was talking basically about talking about shirogana's voice it was so big or you know like yeah <laughs> So yeah, um Kaguya goes in, Kaguya sees that <laughs> Hasa like just passed out. And oh my god. Yeah, and then she, he's like, "Oh, she's like, oh, his voice is just bad." And <laughs> he talks she talks about how he started rapping terribly. And uh, she's like, "You know what? I don't want to be here anymore. Let's get out." They try to go out. Chika comes in, and uh, Chika says, "Oh, why don't we stay a little bit?" And then she realizes that Shirogan is here, and she's like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm not going through that again." So Chika also moves and decides to leave. <laughs> Everyone leaves, 
uh, horrified by Shirogane's voice and rapping. And Shirogane goes in and Shirogane is like, oh my god, we're all alone. You know what? Let's just sing. You know, like, let's just sing alone. And he, she sta he starts practicing. And uh, in that, like, you know, when they were going back home in the taxi, as I said, like, you know, Hasaka talks about that whole situation of how she got a little, like, you know, like, jealous about Kaguya being able to express herself so nicely and laughing and everything. So her ugly part kind of came out a little bit, just wanted to mess with her. Uh, but as I said, like, you know, even though that was one reason, I feel like there was probably a small part in her heart which probably thought that, yeah, this will probably make her more proactive and be more honest with her, herself. And uh, Kaga's like, you know what, like, and I realized that was probably the reason because we have been like, you know, together for so many years and we're like sisters, so yeah. And uh, okay, the ending part, Shirogan is singing alone, a message comes in, Hataka, sorry, I'm not feeling well, so I'm leaving now. It's not because of your rapping, okay, I swear, but maybe you shouldn't rap like that in front of other people. Not that's, that's not to say that your rapping is awful. How should I put it? You, you know how they say that medicine is the flip side of poison? A human body can only tolerate so much. My god. Hmm. <laughs> and she, she was like, I'm going to practice rapping. And yeah, that's where it ends. Wow, this is a really good episode, and uh, yeah, oh my god, the ending song was fantastic. What was that? That was like a small mini anime. You know what the ending song reminded me of? The, the first part of the ending song, I don't know why it reminded me of a certain show that I watched very long time ago. It was a show where there was like an airplane. It was like, you know, set up in some older days. It was like a pilot guy and like a girl. You know, like it was based on an aircraft. I don't remember the name. I don't remember anything about the show. But I don't know why. But the first part of the the ending song reminded me of that so much. And then we kind of see like you know the whole, sh like you know, <laughs> the whole um like you know ending song was just full on. I I think like I think like Kavya was the villain in the ending song or something, like some alien or something and Shirogane goes and makes friend with her by the end of it you know, kind of while Chika and all the others help them out uh, help Shirogane out to reach there <laughs> that was a really good ending so yeah so that's it guys that was my reaction to Kaguya Summer Love is War season 3 episode number 2 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out that's it guys thanks for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of kaguya sama love is war until then goodbye and have a nice day